How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I'm going to be explaining what you should do in Diamond Dynasty right now. So let's go ahead and get right into it. At this moment right now you should be buying home run derby base round players as well as draft pack base round players just simply because they are at the quick sell price. I like to use the different schedules within the game. If you take a look at it, the next thing within seasons and Battle Royale is pretty much coming out in August, right? We just got the brand new Battle Royale program with brand new flawless rewards. I would like to see, you know, some type of flash sale uh, probably within the next 40 days or so, probably around August 18th or maybe even August 25th. And the reason I mention a flash sale is that when there is a flash sale then obviously those cards in the pack right here will go back to the quick sell price i believe once these packs are no longer on sale and once a lot of people have completed the program i think a lot of the base round players will go up to right around 13 maybe 14,000, maybe even 15,000. Um, but i would maybe stay away from the all-star game players just simply because they're not as good as these draft pack or home run derby cards if you can get these 98 overall cards, the mid-round players for right around 10,000, then I also think that is a really good investment as well. I just don't think some of the 98 overall cards are that great. I mean, the Luis Robert and Julio Rodriguez cards are the ones that you'll want to be buying here. The other thing about the draft pack cards is that will most likely be the only version of those players that we'll see in this game but uh, we can expect more to be added into the game as well right we saw that with the program they're probably going to add those packs into this xp loop eventually i would imagine right the all-star game packs the home run derby packs and those draft packs um, but we also saw some draft pack players added into the program for the all-star game and i think that's pretty cool right they don't necessarily have the rights to every single person that has been drafted at least i don't think so i think that might be the only reason why it's a little bit held up for some of the cards right if you're wondering why did your team not get a specific player i think it just takes some time to get the rights to those guys um, but I, I don't really know if I would invest in these all-star game players, probably just the home run derby cards and the draft pack players for me. But you can't go wrong with investing in any of these 98 overall relief cards as well. Those guys are, should have some value at least for a while because those set three pitchers are going to have some value for at least a little bit of time. But that's going to do it for this video. I'm College Lefty, and until next time, peace out.